bouldering is, in a sense, the essence of climbing. Distilled from all the other aspects of the whole experience, it is climbing at its purest. Unencumbered with ropes and unhindered by fear, you are free to climb at your limit. Climbing has always been about travelling between two points. Traditionally, the aim was to get to the top of a mountain, then to the top of a cliff. Bouldering still embodies this idea, but the journey is much shorter. A problem might involve only one hand movement, but it is potentially more demanding to successfully complete that hand movement than to climb 50 metres up a cliff. It is undoubtedly true that the hardest moves have been done in bouldering, and this is possibly part of its attraction. The 100 metres is the blue ribbon athletics event because the winner is the fastest, full stop. In much the same way, the climber who completes the boulder problem that remains unrepeated is the strongest. Tony Milton is one of the first places that I bouldered at over 10 years ago. On first impressions, it may seem scruffy, but even now, it still holds a lot of appeal. Because of the number of holes, it is possible to climb here at any grade, but you need to be inventive. 
all the problems have distinct rules about what you can and cannot use, and there is still potential for new variations. I have spent many hours here with friends from Sheffield, working out problems and variations on old problems, and have managed to turn even the most miserable winter's day into an enjoyable and productive day's climbing. Thank you.
That's big because this woman in this film the other day was supposed to be 400 pesos. That's big, big woman. A lot of blokes who like 16. It's clicking everywhere. Let's try this one again. Hard wearing. Malcolm got it quite wired that last move. Yeah, I'm in the end. It today. In the end, he had that move way better than I did. Um, and I was just hanging out and jumping. I was like going like that, and he he was more. He, he was like like just slapping like that. But he is like that's how you do it, though, isn't it? Well, no, I don't think so. I, I I always get there, get that, get that, and go like that come out at it and every time I'm like, you know, well my hands up there. Let's, Let's see how Ben does it. Some of these lasers might be okay actually. Feel too bad. Good. Black Henny do it. <laughs> Black flying a rainy day. What is that Was that then? Say again. I don't know, you were. That didn't feel too bad then. No. Yeah. I must be doing poorly. I, I, I definitely kind of like you know, got them, and then I come down and out and jump. I think I'm bringing myself down. I think I might have to just do what you did and go from there and jump. I'll give it a go. Should have done it then. Should have had that man. I felt really strong. Left foot. Bollocks, man. It wasn't any more. It's because you stare at the hole so much. Yeah. When I got there once, I got jumped up. And like you know, you get the pinch there. Like if you grab the side, like it's there. Yeah, right. Got stuff like, like that. that. And I just went. Yeah. <laughs> and then sure. I just went. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. And I got the height and everything, but had my hand. You know, the sloping bits left. Is that yours? Yeah. All right, I put it in my bag. They had one as well. <laughs> Where's my block? Did you not get a block out my bag, miss? Yep. Use it. All right.
I can't believe Trevor got up there. I can't believe he bloody fell down the whole thing right to the bottom. He came out of here, then all the way down there, and down through the bottom there. So I was on minus 10. And then he's got a nod in front of mine. He came out and went, I just fell down, I just fell down, I just fell out of the top of the roof. And then the bottom, he's all shaking like that. And then he walked over and saw those bubbles immediately. And he was like, oh, 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 oh. Better to get in one. In one. Hello. 
totally pumped.
Not only is bouldering an end in itself, it is a useful tool to gain endurance for climbing routes on bigger cliffs. One of my projects this year was to climb a route on Kilmsey's North Buttress, which involves 15 metres of continuously difficult climbing. Linking up stamina band and pump up the power was a goal I set myself because of its similarity and difficulty to that route. Rather than make regular trips to North Yorkshire and risk going stale on the route, this provided an excellent way of gaining the endurance necessary right on the doorstep. The combination would be French 9A, same as in project at Kilmsey. Superman was done in 1988 by Jerry Moffat and still ranks as one of the hardest problems in the peak. In six years it has only had a handful of ascents and even though I've done it numerous times it is still challenging enough that I cannot always climb it.
After two days rest, I'm back again at Superman. As with all difficult problems, body position, technique, and the correct conditions are crucial. And even subtle changes in humidity and temperature can make the difference between success and failure. Having warmed up at Stony, I knew I was feeling stronger, and the conditions did feel better than before. Although I'd fallen off one of my warm-ups, I was still feeling confident and my familiarity with the problem from the previous day would be of great benefit. The Thing is another problem done in 1988 by myself. Whilst not being particularly powerful, the emphasis is more on technique, and once the correct movement is learnt, it is possible to do the problem, even when fairly tired. The crux of the problem revolves around keeping your left foot firmly pressed into the foothold, whilst letting your right leg swing out which naturally places your body in the correct position to hang the sloper.
Bouldering has always been the best form of training and many top climbers now spend a large proportion of the year working on this aspect of climbing. The weather in Britain is unpredictable at the best of times, so to be able to maintain a regular training program, people built simple wooden boards in the cellars of their houses. The first boards were cramped, damp and dingy affairs, but their benefits were enormous. In 1993, 15 Sheffield-based climbers rented a room in a community centre and built probably the best specialist training facility around. Well, your right foot comes off and your left foot stays on. And you, you just pivot on your left foot and it really, when you do it, it doesn't feel like that. You have to use that? Uh, yeah, you can use that. Right. Dunbar pinch, you mean? Yeah, yeah, you can use the Dunbar pinch. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not getting it like that. Maybe get your right foot up on 16 degrees. It's all about that left foot, this man. And you have 33. Which is hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk to you. 
Yeah, it's easy. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah. Desperate. 